Blender is as we know it, fabulous at almost everything, but sometimes some functions are either missing or frustrating to work with. And here comes the role of today's add-on, QOL tools, full collection, and QOL stands for quality of life, meaning small footprints add-ons that makes your everyday use of Blender that bit smoother. By solving problems that you have when working with Blender or add extra functionalities to the program. And rather than one mega add-on that often adds a mess of unwanted extras that you never use, confusing and cluttering Blender, QOL tools each do one thing and do it great. You can choose the components you want to add and keep your interface clear so the collection is compact, efficient and user friendly. The QOL Complete Collection contains all the add-ons in the range. All are downloadable individually. As you're buying the collection, they are significantly reduced in price together. Note when future add-ons are added to the collection, the price of it will increase. But if you already have it, all future add-ons will be free for you. Now let's talk about the add-ons that are included in this collection. And let's start with the latest addition. Select contiguous edges. When you try selecting an obvious loop of an edge in Blender edit mode, in most cases your selection is going to be stopped on an edge, and gone or triangle. And here where select contiguous edges tool comes in. It continues the loop selection as you expect it to do rather than getting stuck. It has a tweak menu where you can adjust the strength of the loop and this tweak menu allow you to set the angle on the fly. The second add-on on the list is Ring Array. The Ring Array add-on is an elegant intuitive solution for simply and rapidly creating circular arrays for any source, object, light or camera. The typical workflow for creating arrays of meshes means either manually copying setting the pivot point and rotating objects after doing the angle math or creating a linear array modifier, creating a second curve modifier, sliding the numbers, etc. And even then, the end result is bent objects rather than linked duplicates. Ring Array solves all of that and creates an array with a single click, allowing you to stay in the flow. While the process is perfectly simple, there is also a tweak menu available allowing for a powerful range of adjustments. The interface is divided into three sections. The main section is the part that you normally enter values and usually that's all you need. The options section allow you to set your arrays up in your preferred workflow. The third add-on in the list is Grid Cut. The Grid Cut add-on is an elegant one-click solution for mesh slicing the current active object. Many modifiers require meshes to have certain polygon density and the subdivision modifier very often, for many reasons, doesn't do the trick. Subdivide tends to cause gluts of tiny polygons, stretch polygons and in the case of angons, often bizarre tessellation. This is where Grid Cut comes in handy. It evenly distributes cuts regardless of topology in any or all axes. After applying the grid cut, there are plenty of options available for refining everything. The fourth add-on in the list is the Quick Ball add-on, which is an elegant one-click solution to rapidly Boolean modeling. I mean how many times I used to think I just want to shop that object from this object and I have to click 15 different things and switch the mouse all over the place to do the task. So Quick Bool add-on is exactly the one-click replacement for all of that. Quick Bool uses the Blender built-in algorithm for doing the Bool operation, but it takes 99% of the clicks, mouse travel, etc. away. It also have other advantages like multiple objects in one sweep, material transfer, post adjustment and retain modifier. The fifth add-on we are going to talk about is select same size. The select same size add-on is a simple elegant addition to the select menu allowing you to grab all objects of a similar size 
or a bit larger or smaller to the selected active object. While the process is perfectly simple, there is also a tweak menu available allowing you for adjustments. The sixth add-on of the collection is Select Same Vertex Count. The Select Same Vertex Count add-on is an elegant and rapid way to select objects. I mean have you ever had a scenario where you're selecting things in a scene and looking for every version of the same thing? It's a one-click solution now found under the select menu of course and as with all QOL products, it's just a quality of life thing that makes everyday blender use that bit smoother. If there are a few pesky objects that have a few extra vertices, simply adjust the wiggle room slider to include them. The seventh add-on is ground objects, which is a one-click solution for placing objects. All too often I would find myself fiddling around with groups of objects, relocating their pivot points, snapping in orthographically, trying to find the absolute base, moving them to the ground, etc. It's one of those things that doesn't seem like much until you start using ground objects. The eighth add-on is material panel. The material panel is a complement to Blender's standard material features, adding an overview of all available materials and a range of user-friendly utilities. The QOL range of tools are designed to be intuitive and inobtrusive to give you access to everyday usage features in minimal footprints. The materials panel is the largest of the QOL tools with a comprehensive range of tools. It features flexibility, one-click application of materials, directly select all objects in your scene using a material, generate a new material on the object, directs color editing, removes unused material slots data, purge unused, and protects slash fake users. The ninth add-on is camera bookmark. You know how often when you're setting up a great angle, you find one and then you just want to explore a few other? Don't you just wish sometimes you could just snapshot those angles and flip between them without needing to key and animate? Well now you can do that, and with ease. The add-on offers user friendly interface, a simple one-click solution for adding bookmark and easy restore regardless of camera or perspective type, you can update bookmarks on the fly. You also have a special shortcuts button that can be used even when the panel is closed. The tenth add-on is Smart Smooth. We all know what it's like to press Shade Smooth on the right menu of a mesh and it's suddenly either looking all looking weird or sometimes even glitchy, Smart Smooth just takes care of that. As an important note here, as of version 3.3 of Blender has now fixed much of their issues with Shader Smooth, so this add-on is now only for maintenance and 3.2 users. Now the last add-on we are going to talk about in the collection is Frame Flipper. The Flame Flipper add-on is an addition to the timeline bar that allow you to flip between any two keyframes you set without affecting the animation or needing keyframes. Very often while staging animation, it's an advantage to be able to flip between arbitrary frames and see instantly the differences without having to scrub, so Flame Flipper adds that ability to Blender. Now if you want to check this collection, link is in the description. Now tell me in the comments below what do you think about these add-ons. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and goodbye.